What's up everybody? Welcome back for another episode of this F1 2010 Let's Play Career Mode on Expert. That's right, we're here for the Monza Grand Prix in Italy. Uh, episode number 13, I think, 14th Grand Prix of the season. Let's take a quick check at the season standings here. Look at that, up to two points behind Mark Webber. And a 27 ahead of Vettel in P2 in the championship. Took a bit of distance from the Ferrari, still in P3. And indeed, this weekend is Monza. Very easy track, in my opinion. Uh, easy to learn. Not very hard to just get the grips with. Uh, not too many difficult corners. The only ones really being difficult is, I guess, the braking for the first chicane. And uh, the two Lesmos and maybe the Parabolica. But nothing too difficult on this lap. It's, I think it's one of the first laps I really... Um, uh, learned uh, in detail on this uh, on this game uh, just because it's so easy if you're a beginning beginner you know you're trying out let's say you're trying to start without assists and you know just crank it up to expert mode Monza is an excellent circuit to start on uh, the AI is pretty slow on here again as you see uh, not even trying that hard in practice and I'm already in P4 or 5 or something so now let's head into the qualifying lap Oh, sorry, forgot to put on my headphones. I hope you don't have too much feedback, but I can't be arsed to start again. So let me just put these on quickly. <laughs> That's better. Uh, just taking a look at the setup. Um, like I usually do, I don't discuss too much about the setup itself. Uh, you know, you can pause the game if you want and uh, pause the replay, the video. Yeah, all messed up because of the headset. So you can pause the video if you want to note things down because you can't really share... Uh, Share your setups on uh, this game. So pretty low wings, of course. It's uh, pretty much the fastest okay, circuit on the track. I think in that long straight, it's pretty much the fastest you can go on any track. Here we are, ready for the hot lap on the Monza. This is the Parabolica. Important to get a good exit. You see, I usually um, take uh, just go go and fly and lap for the engineer. But here, it's important you get the max top speed. You can easily shave off a couple of tenths of your time if you uh, do it manually, like I just did. Here on the long straight, I was just mentioning the fastest speed around in the Lotus. You need to break at around the 150 meter mark. Drop down a second, cut that you came, but not too much. Cut it a little bit. Had the back stepping out a bit. Easy on the throttle, exiting out. Ease the car to the outside. Maximize the use of the track. Hug that corner as long as you can, and then you go wide again. You maximize your use of the track. Then you break just as you hit that uh, shadow from the overhead. Cut that chicane a bit, feather the throttle, feather it easy on the throttle, get out of it again. And there are the two Lesmos, you can take these in fourth if you uh, get the turn in point right. You can go pretty wide, but not too wide or you'll spin out again in fourth. Take those curves, hit those apexes, maximize the use of the track. That's really key on Monza in my opinion, to really maximize every inch of the track. Use all that you can, here you break on that bollard. Uh, I don't exactly know the meters, but it's just as you pass the bollard. You can cut that a bit more than I just did, flat on the throttle again, exiting out here, again using the maximum of the track, only easily, gently make it go to the left hand side to get ready for the final turn, the Parabolica, break just behind the baller again, get down to third, hit the apex and then go wide, maximize your use of the track again, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's really crucial on this track, so it hit that line on the left hand side and that is your hot lap on Monza, 124.169. And this is going to give me pole, just slowing down. Look at that pole position in front of Alonso and our good friend, the Aussie Bastard Weber, is in P3. So things are looking up if uh, things stay like this till the end of the Grand Prix. Well, I'm uh, leading the WDC for the first time this year, I think. Yep, yeah, first time this year because I only came second in Bahrain. The one vid that escaped you that I have not done for the career mode. So let's uh, head out of here to the race. Race day, a shiny, shiny race day on Monza. There is a chance of rain, 39%, so you never know. But on the 20% uh, races, uh, if it's a chance of rain and it's not raining in the beginning, it's pretty unlikely you'll actually have rain. So just checking the strategy here. I suppose lap I'm going to come in is lap 4. Uh, might, you know, it's all going to depend on the track where I just did one hot lap. Uh, options are still at 97%. So, um, we'll see how it goes on lap 4, if I feel the grip falling away, I'll come in, if not, I'll stay a bit later. Always wear the pit stop bug, not that dangerous here on Monza, because it's a pretty long pit lane. So, there we are, back on the grid, and, um, what is it, second or third pole position of this season, our rivals right behind us, teammate truly being useless in P20 as usual. The boss is expecting another podium finish this 
Getting ready, revving up, trying to find a good rev. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I try to have that little white light on. The first white light, that seems to be the best amount of rev. I kind of miss it. A lot of wheel spin coming out. This is not going to be a good start. Try to squeeze out Alonso, but he's already next to me. Everybody's rushing up to my ass here. It's going to be dangerous. Alonso overtook me already before the chicane. Brakes very, very hard. So, and there is Hamilton right next to me. I leave him enough room. Is he going to get by? No, he's not. Weber seems to have lost a couple spots. You can see the blue dot here now since he's my rival. Let's look at the start again in instant replay. A uh, good tip from a viewer I got. Why not? Why don't you use the, the replay files to show the big moments? Well, there you go. Use the replay. Just see the start again. There you see why Hamilton couldn't get next to me. He was on the... Uh, on the gravel, luckily he didn't spin out, well lucky for him, and uh, Weber uh, definitely lost a position there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, P5 he is now, so from P3 to P5 Weber, that ain't too cool. And uh, Alonso had a pretty good first corner. Cutting that chicane as much as I can, big gap already opening up to Hamilton, almost a second already, after just a couple of corners. But uh, still chasing Mr. Eyebrows on his home turf, I guess, well Ferrari's home turf anyway. Uh, always, uh, always the Tifosi like to see a Ferrari leading on Monza. Massa's not doing too bad either. He's one of the guys who passed Weber on the on the start. So fourth position for Massa. Uh, it's usually good to have the. What? Why are you saying this, Rob? Why would you think I need more grip? I'm in P2. I'm doing pretty well. Okay, I lost the spot, but you know, it's not. I'm not complaining about lack of grip. Why would I want to put up the wing up? You know, he usually only says that when you actually put it up and then back down. He's like, oh, yeah, you just put up your wing. And he's like, you can put it down if you want more speed. I'm like, yeah, I know that. But I like two seconds ago, I put it up because I wanted to, you know? <laughs> First lap is done for. Still behind Alonso. And a good distance behind Alonso. But I don't know what he's doing here. He comes almost to a standstill. So I bump into him, unfortunately, but um, doesn't mess up either of our races. No penalties, no uh, no damage, but really, the AI take that chicane so slowly. That's the two hot spots for the AI, really, is that chicane and um, the end. Um, I don't know which corners here. I, I have to go wide to prevent going into his ass again. That chicane, they take pretty slow. Usually, it's pretty much all right. I think Alonso just did something weird here. Here you really need to be careful in the Lesmos. You hear me adapting and not going on the throttle as fast because once you hit the gravel on the exit there, you will uh, do a pretty violent spin 99% uh, of the time. So it's really the most crucial part on the track. And it's the most difficult, I wouldn't say, but the most dangerous part on the track where you're prone to errors and lose a lot of time. It's definitely the two Lesmos in my opinion. Uh, once you get those right, it's a pretty easy circuit. Lots of fast sweeping corners. Nothing too technical, just... Gunning it, you know, balls to the wall, just floor, floor it, floor, 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 floor it, and uh, just go for it. That's pretty much it. That's Monza for you. <laughs> I like this corner, Parabolica. It's pretty original, you know, going after having to hit the apex and then going wide. And what the hell is Alonso doing already in the pits on lap two? What the? Uh, that's very, very strange decision. We've been behind him the whole time. Maybe he has some damage in the rear from us hitting in the back, but uh, I highly doubt it. I think it's just very weird AI pit stop strategy as per usual. I kind of dislike that because I kind of knew I was going to get Alonso at some point. And I would have been able to show you guys a nice uh, passing maneuver. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So now we are in P1. I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> That's for sure. And, uh, you know, as usual with the circuits where the AI is a bit sloppy, your biggest enemy is yourself. Because uh, you will get sloppy as well, you know, when the AI is too slow. You're like, yeah, it's not much of a challenge, so you, you tend to get sloppy, and that's when you make mistakes and make spins, and that's when uh, you can still lose these races if you mess up. So Hamilton's on the charge in P2, Weber's still only in P4, so looking good here for the championship to hop over him in the WDC. And uh, doing some pretty decent lap times, 126, and gonna maybe shave like a second off it in, uh, on this lap. So I'm pretty happy with it. Wear on the tires isn't bad at all. Just a little bit of yellow. And I'm supposed to come in on the next lap. So yeah, I'm not too buggered about that. I'm not too worried about that, let's say. Not too bugged or worried. One of those things. And um, it's a good time. Uh, this drops in a Monza race when it's a bit, um, you know, slow when in the fights against the AI and stuff. Because um, I would like to talk about the testing season. Uh, as I'm recording this, uh, it's uh, Wednesday evening. Tomorrow there's gonna be the next test in Jerez in Spain again. I guess they're looking for the sun. 
Really looking forward to see the, the new McLaren on the track. Uh, seeing the new Virgin, seeing how it uh, goes. I wasn't particularly a fan of Virgin, but as I mentioned, there's going to be a Belgian in a Virgin this year, uh, D'Ambrosio. So I'm definitely going like, to take a keener eye to their uh, racing this year, see how the Virgin is doing. Uh, looks like they have some, um, you know, they have a nice vibe around the team. Uh, I just discovered Twitter, as I said in my uh, multiplayer vid uh, earlier. So if you guys want to follow me on uh, Twitter, it's, it's only uh, F1 video related stuff. Don't worry, I won't bug you about uh, the details of my life. Ooh, I just had a cup of coffee and it was delicious. Don't worry about that. It's just going to be keeping you updated on the next vids. And, um, you know, if you guys are wondering when the next one's coming out or what the hell I'm doing if I haven't posted a vid for a couple days, uh, you'll easily find out there. But I just discovered Twitter. It's the first time on Twitter. And, geez, I'm loving it. I'm, like, following a ton of uh, F1 related uh, people. Like, you know, BBC guys, Jake Humphreys, and uh, Martin Brundle, and, and uh, F1 blogs, and F1 teams, and shit. And I gotta say, uh, Team Lotus is really doing a good job uh, engaging with their uh, public. There you know, lots of tweets, lots of pictures coming out from them. They have a beautiful, beautiful um, new video showing their... Showing the new Lotus in, in action. They did like a shooting session, an extra day of, well, promotional shooting, that's when they uh, call it. And they, they actually did some promotion, have a really nice vid up on their YouTube account, My Team Lotus, uh, of the new car in action. So it's pretty nice, Team Lotus is really doing good uh, when it comes to engaging with their fans. So I'm really looking forward to that. Force India has been launched, we're basically only waiting for the HRT to be seen in person. There are pictures of the HRT out and they, well, they made big strides forward in one place and that's delivery. The HRT actually looks pretty nice. I wasn't expecting that because I thought they were butt ugly last year, but uh, livery looks really nice. And then of course the other big news is uh, Robert Kubica's uh, horrifying accident, uh, really. Oh, no, let's say Kubica, because I have another comment, I keep pronouncing Kubica wrong. It's not Kubica, but Kubica, and I guess to, to honor him in these uh, trying times, I, the least I can do is uh, <laughs> get his name right, Kubica. Had this horrifying uh, rallying accident, uh, almost cut off his hand uh, from what I heard. Um, so this is my uh, predicted pit lap. Oh, it was already my predicted pit lap, but uh, stayed out. So yeah, poor Kubica. Now Lotus Renault is in a big, um, big trouble now finding another driver. But uh, let's get the, this pit stop right first. You know, I always mess up. Never know where the pit line is. Here, here especially, there's like three different pit lines. Never know which one to take. So there's a McLaren in the pits. Hamilton well in the lap uh, long, like I did. Don't mess up the pit stop, don't mess it up, and again, the dude doesn't get bumped over, been getting pretty good at that, I do break a bit early, there's Hamilton behind me, yeah, he hasn't been out of the pits yet, now he has, 5.2 seconds, not the greatest pit stop, Lotus fellas, get the limiter off, and look at this, it's a ghost, Hamilton goes through me on exiting the pits, I guess I put the limiter off too late, but Alonso ain't getting through, there we go, I nail it up the inside of Alonso, that was pretty damn sweet, I must say. Uh, that was that was pretty damn sweet. Gotta admit that. Let's check this out again. What the hell happened with uh, Hamilton, for instance? Hope you guys like this new instant replay feature. I won't be able to bring this to you in uh, multiplayer. Because um, there's no replays in multiplayer. Jesus, CM, what are you thinking? So, um, gonna have to do for the career race fit. So, if you like it, let me know and I'll do it again for the other lap. So, he's still a pretty good distance behind me here. And, boom, he shoots forward, shoots... Where the hell did he get that speed? What what the hell just happened here? So, well, he goes through me. Luckily, I guess that he didn't bump into me. But I get Alonso, at least, on the inside. So, lost the spot. No longer in the lead. That's for sure. Kobayashi went long, so he's in P1. So, let's see if we can uh, claw back uh, into Hamilton. Not into Hamilton, but claw back the spot from Hamilton. You see Hamilton, he's behind the slower car, that's truly, Hamilton makes a mistake, can I go past him? Yes, I get side by side to get into the Lesmos, and I make it stick. Let's check that one out again for the instant replay. On the T-cam, look at this, slow motion and everything. I really like this T-cam view, it's the, one of the few cameras they have done well. Just a classic case, going wide, into the gravel, little spin, nice correction from Hamilton. And uh, at least you can watch my helmet. <laughs> the Degrassi's helmet for once. Someone wants to make a D'Ambrosio helmet, I will definitely wear it on these fits. So if one of you talented modders is out there, wants to check out what uh, D'Ambrosio's new helmet's gonna look like. I don't really know, I haven't seen it yet. And uh, wants to mod it for me, please do. I would really much enjoy that. And I will put it on and give you an honorable mention. <laughs> there you go. 
So we managed to sneak one up onto Hamilton again because, well, he made a mistake. Not induced by me, he just made a mistake. There's Jarno in front of me. Is he going to do the same thing as in Hockenheim and start battling me even though he still needs to pit? We shall find out in a second. Uh, I find it pretty silly because we're in the same car, but I have so much more top speed than him. So I want to go to the inside and uh, Jarno is weaving because he went to the left and then he went to the inside. So illegal move against your teammate. Pro drive, Yarno. Pro drive. Yeah, just go into the pits, you fucking useless bastard. <laughs> I don't really care that Ferrari's going into a pit stop. I think Rob, our engineer, really would have preferred a drive with, um, you know, a job with Ferrari. Because he's pretty much obsessed with what Ferrari's doing. Even though they're miles away from me in a championship. And I'd really like to be known and, you know, get updated what A, the dudes I'm racing are doing. And B, my rival in a championship, you know. Red Bull, Mark Webber. It's kind of, you know, very tight in the WDC. I'd like to know what he's doing. You know, let me know. He's spun. He's taking primes. He's, we think he's going to pit next lap. I make an error. Same error Hamilton does. Is he going to get past, though? He's Nope, he's too far behind. Can't capitalize on my error. Exactly the same error Hamilton just did. Like I said, these corners, these lesmos, just go onto the grass, uh, onto the gravel, actually, and uh, you'll have pretty nasty spins. That's pretty much really need to pay attention not to go too wide on uh, this track. Now uh, things have calmed down a bit, again a bit. So yeah, Lotus Renault. Poor Kubica, really feel bad for him. Wasn't never a huge... Kubica was never a huge fan of him, but I really didn't dislike him either. I uh, think he's quite an exciting driver. And well, in a way, it, I think it's karma biting Renault Lotus. Well, if they want to call himself Lotus, Renault Bahar in the ass. You know, their management is such a shamble since this Bahar ca guy came on. So they hire... Bruno Senna is a test driver, and they say, yeah, if something happens, Bruno will be the, the guy in the car. Okay. And then they have Romain Grosjean, who is also a reserve driver. Uh, whoa, something messed up here with the edit. I don't know what. I had a little bit of black screen, but uh, we're still on the same lap. So, yeah, so they have uh, Romain Grosjean, and then they have like three more reserve kind of drivers. They're more in the driver academies. Okay, so let them get away with this. But say so they basically already have two third drivers. With Senna already being confirmed that if something happens, he'll get the seat. And then something happens with Kubica, Kubica. See, I can't get it right when I'm talking fast. Kubica and Senna won't get the seat because now Renault are talking that they want an experienced driver. I'm, I'm seriously, I feel horribly sorry for Kubica, but they totally deserve this. I mean, if you wouldn't have chosen the dollars of Petrov over a guy that has actual racing talent, you would have had a good second driver on the team. They wouldn't have had that problem. It could have given the chance to someone like Senna or Grosjean, who, in the end, you did hire as test drivers, reserve drivers. So now they're looking for someone else. Liuzzi is mentioned, and I don't know why, because, yeah, sure, he's got a couple years' experience, but he never said anything alike in a decent car. Almost always lost to Sutil. So Liuzzi, yeah, find it a weird choice. Nick Heidfeld, who's a solid driver. I guess that would be a good choice. Um, and someone else. Yeah, Senna. Senna is still somehow on the shortlist, but I'm... Um, uh, his chances are starting to look slim. I really don't think Senna's going to get it. Which is a shame. I mean, it shows they basically just took Senna for the marketing purposes. You know, Senna name back in a gold and uh, black lotus, blah, blah, blah. But then when shit push comes to shoves and he can get a chance, like it was announced, they don't take him. So it, they basically should have said, if something happens to Petrov, we'll give Senna a chance. If something happens to Kubica, yeah, we'll get someone else. Uh, really, Lotus Renault, uh, I have... I've never really liked the Lotus team, never hated them either, but uh, yeah, really disappointed with them. Really disappointed. Uh, I really wish Kubica, Kubica could go to another team if and when he comes back. Let's all hope he does, of course. Horrifying crash. Really, the, the images are, are quite disturbing seeing what happened. Um, yeah, really disturbing. You can't see the images of the crash, of course. Uh, luckily, you probably won't re release it, even though I think there's an onboard of it. But uh, ooh, going wide, let's get back to the race. Going wide again, make a mistake. Gonna get Hamilton the chance, keep to my side, not blocking him. And yep, Hamilton gets through, so back to the race and um, less of me jabbering. But it's a pretty boring race, so I figured I'd take the opportunity to vent about what's happening in F1. I'm just so excited in the new season. So Hamilton is out, but I know they're slow in the exit here, and he's very slow in the exit. So look at that. A Lotus Cosworth zooming past Hamilton. Yeah, sorry again, guys. No wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing in this. You'll have to probably go to my uh, multiplayer vids for that. If you want some really hardcore racing for positions and battles. Because uh, AI is just not up to par on most tracks. Some tracks we've had some good battles, I think. But on Monza, yeah, forget about it. Got the spot right back after my error. 
you know that's how it is it is how it is can't can't help it go go write a letter to codemasters tell them to improve their ai so one of the guys i'm following on twitter is a uh, targa steve steve hood is that his name or uh, steven steve yeah something the targa guy on the forums um he's got some pretty interesting tweets it's it's fun to stay uh Stay updated on that. Really, it's funny. <laughs> I feel like such an old fart, only discovering Twitter now. They're a pretty messy chicane again. Might give Hamilton a shot. Nope, because he's very slow exiting out. And really not aggressive at all. Another point to improve on the AI. They're really not aggressive. I'm not even really defending my position. I know he won't dive on the inside anyway. So, <laughs> you know, just like zooming by, zooming by. Last two laps, last one and a half lap, let's say. It's looking good. Weber somehow snuck up to fourth. Uh, so he passed Massa and Alonso during the whole pit stop thing. Alonso, I'm not too surprised because for some reason he pitted in lap two. Huh? Is that Dominic Kali having a brain fart again like he had in uh, Abu Dhabi this year? <laughs> Covering for, I don't know, Truly or something? <laughs> something idiotic like that. But uh, Weber in fourth and Liuzzi, I'm... He's going very long, maybe, but uh, if we see him pit now... You know, if you don't see him pit now, he's going to stay in P3. So somehow, a Force India got into P3. Force Indias were known for having one of the highest top speeds uh, around uh, on the whole grid. They didn't have the downforce in the corners they needed, but they had a really, really fast car when it comes to pure top speed. They were often near the top or at the top of the speed traps on the tracks. So maybe they had their package is working for uh, Monza and, you know, see him added that, but uh, I wouldn't count on it, I wouldn't bet on it, but <laughs> let's just call it that, that, because uh, uh, top speed is, is pretty much one of the most important things on um, Monza, always the lowest wings around in this track, uh, in real F1, you can see uh, the difference really, they're all like flat line flat and compared to pictures you see from Monaco, it's basically nothing, so another interesting thing this year is going to be that movable rear wing, we've seen it in action a bit, you know, teams testing it out in um, Cheste, in Valencia. And, uh, but Jerez is a much faster circuit. So I'm really wondering how... Uh, you know, I, you're going to see a bit more. I mean, you can't say anything from test times, of course. But I think we're going to get a bit more of an indication how, uh, how people are driving. Because Valencia is pretty much a Mickey Mouse circuit. And um, Jerez used to be a real F1 circuit, of course. Pretty interesting track. So really psyched about that. And here's the finish straight for another victory. That's right. Pump them fists, man. Pump them fists. That's right. Good fist pump. No Vettel finger. Come on, give us the Vettel finger. Yep. Congratulations, mate. That's a fantastic win. Simply fantastic. Hey, nobody expected that result. It's, 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 you know, at least he's enthusiastic, but I don't see why he wouldn't expect it. But <laughs> still, you know, P1, Hamilton P2, Liu P3, and Weber only P4. For him, that's not too good. Uh, didn't see where the rest ended. Let's look at that. 11 points ahead of Mark Webber. Things are looking up for our WDC chance as well. Two Grand Prix ago, I was 27 points behind. Now I'm 11 ahead. Things can change fast with this point system, that's for sure. Took some nice distance to Ferrari again. So we might even secure third for Lotus. Uh, which is going to be important because I'm going to stick with Lotus. You saw me take the contract. And I think... The better your car is placed in the championship, the better the base performance gets in the next season. I don't really know. That's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm hoping. In any case, so I can uh, get Lotus to higher heights and maybe even improve uh, Truly's uh, position. So, uh, Holly, what you got to say to me? He set a stall out this weekend with a pole position in qualifying, then really capitalized on this in the race. A perfect weekend, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it was good. I'm not really... It doesn't really matter anymore because I already signed a contract. So I figured I might as well keep the team happy because I'm pretty sure it probably resets or something by the start of the next season. So, you know, your answers and reaction to the press. So there we go. Another victory uh, notched on our belt. What is it? Fourth? Fifth this year? I don't remember. Next up, Singapore. Marina Bay. A tough street circuit, but one I like a lot. So see what I can do that time. So make sure to comment, like, subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitter now. New. <laughs> I'm so up with the cool kids. So anyway, um, like I said, hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you enjoyed the replay uh, system I put in. And peace out.